So why don't lawmakers also be law enforcers? Okay, it, you, I, I've seen this this video uh, for TED TEDx talks uh, where this uh, this black officer, I think he worked in the the inner cities. He he talked about promoting clergy riding with the law enforcers, but that's just that seems like a bit of a disconnect to me. I don't I don't see how uh, clergy could help out law enforcement because the professions are really don't coincide uh, all that much. It it'd be it'd be kind of like um, having uh, two different uh, professions that that really have nothing to do with each other uh, trying to learn from each other. You'd want. Like, I was trying to think of an example, but I can't. But you, you'd want professions uh, that work work with each other in, in conjunction, um, that 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 move down the line. You, you'd want somebody that, like, say, in a factory line, somebody who at, at the beginning also sees what it looks like towards the middle, towards the end. Like, if you're making a car or something, you'd You'd have the engineer maybe look at the the end product on, on what they designed, okay? Ideally, you'd want them to, to also ex experience what it's like to be a car mechanic and have to make repairs on, on these designs. And a lawmaker creates products, too, that are long-lasting, similar to engineers. They engineer, the lawmaker engineers the law but to put it into practice, well, that's that's a different thing, okay? Uh, because pe like for for auto mechanics, they the the auto repair shops com complain that you know the engineers could have done a little better job for uh, certain certain products and things. Some things may break easier than others, and some things are harder to get to. Well, in in law, the legal aspects, things things are a little broken and and uh, maybe. Uh, more difficult to interpret and and that that goes with uh also the the uh, history of of the the actual law like for my my case i have uh a charge of of uh, illegal parking uh from a law that was written in 1998 and <clears throat> things changed i mean this this is this law was is being enforced well before the internet really took off. I mean, the internet was in its beginning stages, but I mean, a lot of the wordings and stuff and and all of that interpretations are are are, uh, are changing how we how we look at things uh, today. And and it really these these laws need to be updated, like like uh, machinery needs to be updated. Um, for for uh, how how people live, how the culture operates today, okay, you know, I'd, I'd ask the the lawmakers if if they could, if they were still alive from from twenty years ago, to to ride along with the law enforcement and and to see how how uh, interpretations may have changed uh, from when that law was first made, okay, like in, in my example. I, they they might have had good intentions. There there might have been particular businesses that that really called for this law to be uh, to be drafted. Okay, no no parking in in certain areas and no sales on the side of the road and all that stuff. And and, and see how how the uh, enforcement has changed till now. See how the how the culture, the businesses have, have come in and gone. I mean, a lot is a lot can change in twenty years, and and maybe maybe they could take another look at this at this law. Okay, that that happens for for a lot of a lot of places. The the, the populations rise and fall, and businesses uh, grow and and shrink in in certain areas. Some some part neighborhoods grow bigger. And other neighborhoods shrink and, and fall into disrepair and 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 stuff and and these these laws are designed uh, for for to to be to 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 also address the the changes in the culture 
okay, the changes in, in the landscape and, and how things are, are being interacted with. If there's too much congestion at, at one, at one uh, intersection, they, they need to like address that uh, with, with uh, enforcing certain, certain uh, things. Pe people uh, respond to, to different uh, traffic flows differently. Like some people will put up cameras, others will maybe try to uh, put put other barriers. Uh, they, a lot of a lot of cities like to put barriers, an island in between the lanes, the the oncoming and the outgoing lanes, so that you can't make any kind of crossover because uh, a double yellow line isn't exactly good enough. All right, putting a actual island up. Or and with a fence of all things, so so uh, people can't can't uh, or uh, dis they're detracted from from walking across. Okay, there's there's uh, particular barriers and and things that that can be that can be created. So the the lawmaker they'll 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 create something that's that's supposed to be long lasting, but really it it can't be. I mean you. And it's, it's supposed to be perfect for the time, which it probably isn't. Yeah, um, but they they really should they really need to update those laws to so that uh, there's there's fresh people who are actually putting their names behind these laws and can answer for the laws directly when when there is a problem, saying, "Oh, our intention was this," because historically we don't know the arguments that that happened for for when the law was made in 1998 for for this one law that the the illegal parking i i asked other uh, recordings of the the city council uh, meetings when they when they were drafting this law in this this open forum meeting and and they said they don't have any video of it from 1998 i i asked uh okay did a reporter sit in on it and then uh take notes on what the arguments were for and against and they're like, yes, they do that, and and I could research this this old newspaper, but now I have to wait till the museum is open. And I actually went to the the museum on Saturday. Uh, they opened at eleven o'clock. I showed up at eleven o five, and and nobody was there. And that's that's apparently where the old issues of this newspaper was that I'm supposed to get from. I'm supposed to be able to find from 1998. I'm not even sure which month or week that the meeting was was held. I was thinking what, I could just check for 1998 and see what what's going on, what happened, see what so what, what the reporter uh, found were for and against arguments. Because I've looked at other ordinances in the past. And and you'd see like uh, why certain ordinances have passed. Like, for example, in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, they 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 had uh, a forum for for banning chickens from the city. I found that interesting. And um, they had they, they they I think they they might have recorded it. I definitely I read it somewhere. I read it in an old newspaper article. That the, the the arguments against having chickens in the city were that a neighbor argued that a uh, chicken was pecking at her screen door and destroyed it, so ban all chickens from the city. That that was that was a strong argument against it. It depends on who's making the argument, the context of it all, what the argument is, and and all that to influence how how the wording of the law is shaped. Okay. And, and going back to my issue, there's no mention of parking lot anywhere, okay? And you'd think, you know, 1998, they ha would have had parking lots. Why would they have withheld that and, and put it under this this phantom description of other structures? I, I just don't understand what was going through these, these people's heads. And you can't, you can't find that out. You can't talk to them. They're probably dead, a lot of them. Okay, however many city council members were involved in that lawmaking process. But they, they took the responsibility of, of putting that together. And uh, 20 years ago, well, I mean, they, 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 uh, they're kind of, they, you get grandfathered out of the responsibility at some points. Okay, you, you outgrow that responsibility. You're like, oh, I can't remember, you know, it was so long ago what was said. That's why you have to record these things. But it was in 1998, you know, it's... <laughs> What, before audio recordings were invented or something but this is a small town anyway that's why they made um, 
uh, this is a small town, so that's why you know there's a lesser chance that they have recorded it. In a bigger city, you're going to have more likely a chance that they, they'd have video of when they were uh, arguing for and against these laws. But you'd have what? You'd have the meetings, you'd have the city council get together and argue this stuff. And then people at the end would be able to, who are in the audience, be able to say their piece about um, the argument. But this, I mean, this may not have been a, uh, uh, a law that was, was uh, very debatable. Maybe with the car salesman, all right, mostly. But to anybody else, there may not have been many people in attendance who had anything to say about it. And it's one of those laws that may have silently passed. In the 90s, there's, there's a lot of laws that were anti-youth. The anti-youth uh, movement seemed to have occurred in the 90s. With it, you know, it seemed to follow in conjunction with the hip hop generation, where there's just so many laws against the, what the youth, youthful activity is, being out at night and um, racing, playing music loud, racing cars up and down the road or something, you know, that that type of thing, hanging out on the side of the road with with a group of your friends. Okay, that's there's a lot of those those type of of things, and and uh, the lawmakers. A lot of baby, baby boomers most likely got together and put these these uh, anti youth laws into action, which really should be re looked at. And and I commend Trump's statement that you know for every new law that you create, erase two old laws, or at least you know reevaluate the old laws, and they don't have to be complete. You know a, a whole law or whatever doesn't a whole a whole ordinance doesn't need to be completely. Uh, dismant like erased but it could be you know lightened up a little bit re-looked at and maybe maybe uh, just readjusted in, in some ways okay uh, because I, um, in, in these days of, of old laws the law interpreters the law enforcers are, are, are having difficulty they don't they don't really have anybody to talk to. They probably didn't sit in on the city council uh, meetings when the law was made. They, they're, they're just not aware of the arguments uh, on um, the background of, of how the law forms. So that they're, they're forming their own opinions based on their own experiences, and and they can they can really make a perverse interpretation without uh, much which all, without much uh, background knowledge of the history of of how the law forms. And that's a, that's the same that can go for the uh, the city attorney. The same that can go for the judge. Okay, they're they're uh, they're interpreting old laws that they may not be f fully aware of the the history and and uh, the rationale behind you know the arguments against and for that that occurred with the lawmakers. They're just all doing their jobs, and these laws are now as they age turning into like something that that was written in the bible like it's oh it's always been that way it's been that way for 20 years it's always been that way okay and that mindset is is very and is very uh very narrow that that religious mindset of just accepting things as as uh as they've they, the way they are because that's how they've always been and and that's and if you don't look back far enough you know five five you only look back five years that's how things have always been. You take on that attitude, then yeah, you, you're gonna be you're gonna be stuck in 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 some mindset. You're gonna be you're gonna be trapped in your bubble, and and anything outside of that that to burst it is really gonna be catastrophic and and cause a lot of a lot of problems f for you. You got you got to look you got to look outside the bubble, look past in 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 the past a little further. To see how things have developed, it's possible this 1998 law was just readjusted from from an older law previous to that. I'm certain that's probably what happened. It wouldn't have been just first created in 1998, okay? But uh, you know, a asking to to have these these laws reevaluated, updated, um, you know, have the arguments, have the open forums again, just to see where everybody stands. Um, and these these lawmakers, I I believe they're all supposed to be elected to represent the people. I don't believe anybody's appointed to create a law. That's 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 the whole politics of it all. So, 
it's it's something to that you know somebody else could to make a platform of for their own political gains like what trump has done is is just you know you come out it seems like out of nowhere and with with a completely different strategy going into the politics of it all just relooking at everything with a fresh perspective and and you could really you could really gather up uh interest in that uh just just you look at look at how old the, these antiquated laws are. It's it's like it's a, it's it's uh, supporting the old establishment in a lot of ways. And the old establishment, the the old money doesn't want things to change. They they they're fine happy with the way the laws are because they until they've designed their lifestyles around the structure of it all. So if somebody comes in and says we got to take another look at these these old antiquated laws that were designed from the old and olden days 20 years ago and and get a, of a fresh outlook on them new debates why why is this happening why why is this is this still in place is it does it does it really serve the greater good the greater purpose for for everybody else or is is it is it uh something that maybe maybe could be lightened up on and and it's like you gotta wonder uh, for history, for for individuals, do you look at it uh, like with with uh, how it's being enforced? What are the what are the con what are the arrest rates? What are the ticket rates of this particular law? And what are the convictions? Okay, is this is this a law that's being broken quite frequently? Uh, you find out, get some feedback on on how people think of um, this this uh, this system right now.